Just thought I'd do a quick first thoughts video on Derek Chisora just announcing his fight with uh, Dylan White. Now, it was just put up in Box Rec yesterday after the announcement, but I've heard they're changing the date, so it's been taken back down from Box Rec. I'm sure it'll be put up quite soon. I think uh, the fight's actually going to be the same day Anthony Joshua has his fight in December. It'll make the card a little bit better, which will be good. Uh, I think this is going to be a really good fight if Derek Chisora you know, has the same kind of motivation he did behind when he trained for the Kubrat Pule fight. I remember it was only about nine or ten months ago I said Dylan White's not going to be the next Derek Chisora and I pointed out my reasons behind that. After I said that, he did have three fights in a row where he kind of resorted to just slugging out with his opponents and that was against Minto, Joshua and Bakurim. Now, I gave him a pass in the Brian Minto fight because he was injured. And it quite clear he was injured and he's boxed better against David Allen and Ian Lewisham. But when he's stepping up in class, because he's this is the second big test in Dylan White's career, you know, this is actually going to confirm where he's going to be positioned, I think, for the next few years. This is actually going to test and see what level Dylan White really is at when he's fighting Derek Chisora. Because I think Derek Chisora is going to be motivated for this fight. I can see this being a, a really exciting fight. And I'm not just talking about the hype before it and the trash talk. And I think the fight itself is going to be quite exciting. Maybe a little bit messy, but exciting. And like I said... Dylan White has boxed a lot better against David Allen and Ian Lewis and he hasn't just been throwing punches from pillar to post and just trying to get the opponent out of there. Um, I'm not going to make a prediction for his fight right now. Dylan White's going into this a strong favourite by just reading through the comments and seeing a few polls for this fight. And I'm sure if I looked at the bookies it would say the same thing. But I, I think Derek Chisora is a lot better than people give him credit for. He was beaten by Kubrat Pulev, but he's always lost against that kind of level of opponent. Apart from maybe Robert Hellenius, and I agree with the majority, the vast majority of people that think Derek Chisora beat Robert Hellenius. I think he beat Robert Hellenius by about three rounds. I had him winning. Uh, and obviously he beat Malik Scott, and a lot of people rate him very highly. Um... See, he's a very skilled boxer, I just don't know if he has the confidence in himself or he has the heart to actually fight at that top level. But uh, a lot of people say Derek Chisora explores Malik Scott and they still give Malik Scott a lot of credit right now. So I think this is going to be a better fight than uh, some people are thinking. Uh, and I think the fight, the, the build-up to the fight, the hype and everything is going to be really exciting. Uh, I hope we do a, a face-off for this even though it's not going to be the headline fight for that night, it'll be Joshua. But a face-off, it's, it's going to earn money, isn't it? And people are definitely going to tune in for it. And the press conference is going to be amazing. And I'll, I'm going to have a little look at this fight. Uh, I know quite, I'll know more about Dylan White than I do Derek Chisora, to tell you the truth, even though I've watched quite a lot of his fights. I'm going to have to really look into Derek Chisora, and in a few weeks I'll probably release my prediction video for that fight.